Hello everyone, my name is Francesco Cipollone. I'm the CEO and founder of Phoenix Security. Today, I want to talk to you about an important news that has come out um, very recently. Uh, CVSS version 4 has been released to the public in public preview and has been out for a little while. And um, in the latest first conference, uh, David Drugal has announced um, the new release, the detail around CVSS version 4 versus version 3. And I want to go through the major differences, the major new element of version 4 because uh, it's exciting, it's a new standard that is coming out. It will take a little while for the world and the rest of the vendor to transition uh, from V3.1, the current standard, to V.4. Uh, the new standard, and there are quite a little bit of difference. Like what happened in version two, there are retro compatibilities and elements that are similar to each other. Why should you care about version four or version 3.1? Well, if you're in vulnerability management at all, if you have dealt with any vulnerability from an infrastructure, cloud, or application security, you would have stumbled across the Common Vulnerability Enumerator, or CVE. And the equivalent score that uh, is called CVSS, that is fundamentally the way a vulnerability is called based on certain parameters and is a number from 0 to 10 in the version 3.1 and in the new version 4 that explain how dangerous a vulnerability is. Now, there's been a number of critiques of version 3.1 where the community has expressed that a lot of the vulnerability were overpushed towards the criticality and hence when everything is critical, nothing it is. And in a new version 4, there's been some fixes, but uh, not everything has been fixed. Uh, there have been some uh, additional critique from the community of cybersecurity professional that CVSS version 3.1 was extremely complicated to understand and as well to compute and calculate. CVSS version 3.1, like the newer version, is composed by a base score, an environmental score, and a temporal score. A lot of the CVE that we have already in, in our database have the base score compiled, but we lose the temporal score and the environmental score is rarely used by organization. The base score express how bad a vulnerability is with a number of basic factor. The temporal score instead express in a timeline how has the vulnerability changed and the environmental score should express how a vulnerability has affected you. Now, what are the major difference between V3 and V4? Well, starting from the fact that you can have multiple vulnerability score per single vulnerability so that that element can adapt between individual vulnerability or different vulnerability in different environments. So you can have a vulnerability score for different uh, vulnerabilities or for the same vulnerability, you can have multiple vulnerability score. The base matrix has expanded a little bit with uh, a little bit more element around the user interaction with an additional element, um, including the passive and the non-active user interaction. There's been an injection of new metrics, aside from the environmental and temporal, there are more customizable metrics that allow injection of cyber threat intelligence and additional factor. The threat has been particularly to, through the threat metric uh, to actually allow the insertion of new exploits and new cyber threat intelligence. The environmental has slightly changed uh, with new metrics in place. And the major probably difference between V3 and V4, uh, aside from the scoring and slightly different in the base metrics, has been the chain of attack and the fact that you can express um, blast radius and subsequent chain of uh, attack and the vulnerability of different um, 
sequence of system. From contextualization, business impact assessment, location based risk, the, the CVSS had remained more or less the same, where you still have the CIA triad that enable you to express or the vendor to express the impact on availability, uh, confidentiality, and integrity of the data. Uh, that's what CIA stands for. From a scoring perspective, we will see as well some greater compatibility where a lot of the base score factor have remained slightly the same while there have been insertion of new factor and, we, and the remapping have been quite different. So the factor that will have traditionally gave you a 7.4, a high, will in a new CVSS give you a, a, a slightly more adjusted factors because the other element in the scoring system have taken a little bit more place. So um, a 7.4 in CVSS version 3.5 would have given you a, a 5.4 in the new system. So what are the new elements that have been inserted in CVSS? Well, we have remained in the base metric group, the attack vector, the attack complexity, and the privilege required with some nuances in there. Well, we have the new scoring of attack requirements and the new subsequent system indicator that express how different system will be impacted forward on. In the environmental, also these have been expressed as well. Uh, the environmental score have left, uh, so we still have confidentiality, integrity, and availability requirements that were as per uh, previous factors. The track metric group is a new group and express new challenge, well, new factors and metrics. And then we have the supplemental metric group that is an array and a vector of new things that could get into CVSS and using CVSS. And this is the urgency or um, if a specific attack is automatable um, and different other factor like um, that could be a vector of cyber threat intelligence of different system like a Phoenix security that express the vulnerability element. Now, all of these factors are great and the critique of the system still being very much focused on infrastructure and operational uh, security still remain because application security still lack a little bit of the nuances that are related to code. So in conclusion, CVSS version four is a preview, has been out for very few days, very a little bit of time. So we'll see more discussion around CVSS and what does CVSS, the new version really impact us and how it will impact us. Um, we summarize a lot of this in the article in the comments, so please go and check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope this was useful, and I, I hope the community engaged with the discussion on CVSS, bring out the factor of contextualization and risk assessment that is still a major element or a major pain point in the whole CVSS discussion. And I still consider that this hasn't been fully addressed by the discussion. My name is Francesco Cipollone. I'm the CEO and founder of Phoenix Security. We do vulnerability management from application to code to cloud at scale. And we help you as well looking at CVSS and overriding some of the factor and really taking control of your vulnerability data. I hope this was informational. Follow us and check more about our content. Goodbye. Stay safe. Phoenix. Fix vulnerabilities today before attackers exploit them tomorrow.